This is by far one of the most valuable features that were added to 6.4. From now on, your ISDB, your internet service database, includes vendor MAC address ranges. What can you do with it and how to use it? Up until 6.4, we could use the ISDB, the Internet Service Database, that is IP addresses and ports of different web services that we can use on our firewall policy. And that was a great feature. Let's just look at the Diagnose Internet Service ID and we have tons of different web services, web applications that we could use. 6.4 actually brought another great feature which is the MAC addresses. The MAC addresses ranges for different vendors. So if you use the diagnose vendor MAC ID, you could see that now you have different vendors, well-known vendors, with their own unique ID. How do you get to see the uh, MAC address ranges? Well, you use the diagonal vendor MAC and the ID number. So let's look for the MAC address ranges for Fujitsu. So that is number 14. And here is the MAC address ranges for Fujitsu. Another great thing that you can do with it is to actually look up for a specific MAC address. Let's look at my MAC address using my terminal. And there it is. Let's just copy that. And let's use the diagonals vendor MAC match. And now you have to paste the MAC address and the mask, which is 48 in bit. Pressing on it, you can see that the device uh, with that MAC address actually belongs to Apple. So now you can do it on your 40 gate. All right, now if we want to use the uh, MAC address ranges on our firewall policy, let's just move to my uh, firewall policy. Let's um, edit number one. If we'll use the get command, we will see that we have a source vendor Mac. Currently, it is number four, since I've already done that before. That actually says that only devices that belongs to Apple will be allowed. Now, you can actually set the source vendor Mac to another ID. Let's use, um, let's just look at the different um, IDs. Let's use number one. So only access devices will be allowed. So to do so, you just use the ID and that's about it. From now on, only access devices will be allowed to use the firewall policy. 